guys. This is Simon Sage from iMore. We're at GDC 2015 with Josh from Crescent Moon Games. He's showing off Mike Rogue, a new roguelike with some very pixely graphics. That's right. It's, uh, it's actually a game developed by Jason Pickering, who is a developer of another game called Relic Rush, which was another pixelized, well, it was a pixelized ladder climbing uh, one touch game. <laughs> okay. But now he's moved on to a, a roguelike, which is actually a little fresher. And um, this one is a little bit different because it's more, it's like almost, it's almost like chess meets a roguelike. Okay. Because you have to plan out your moves, it's turn based. Each enemy has a, a specific thing that they do, so you can use that enemy against another enemy. Mm. Uh, in this case, little fire guy, if, I'm, if I were to attack him, and there were, if there were enemies around him, he would destroy those enemies. Mm. But right now there aren't, so that won't happen. But if there were enemies in those things, and these eyeball guys will sort of teleport you to these other squares. Your goal is to get as high as you can in this tower. So you look for the stairs at the end. So sometimes, if you want to be teleported to another side of the level, you can use these little eyeball guys. Or they'll attack you. <laughs> or I'll get a text while I'm playing a game. <laughs> so you basically get a few moves, and then your enemies obviously go. But you have to be strategic about how you land your player so that you can use it against others. Or try to get, you know through these traps, or use the traps on enemies, when you see those little pieces of spikes coming up, you know that the next turn is going to be the spike right, right. actually raising oh, hey. an enemy. And then the enemies get more varied as you go, all with different ways of moving, like this guy can move diagonally. And one thing that's really nice about this game is it's is a very simple game, and you can just kind of jump into it at any time and try to, you know, get as far as you can. So in some ways, it's almost like a high score game. Sure. But you're just trying to get to as high of a level in the uh, tower as you can. Are there any, uh, say, unlockables that carry over between your uh, your deaths? There is not. It's full permadeath. Ooh. So once if you get to like level eight and you die, you're done. You just start back over at the beginning again. There's 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 really nothing to collect. It's just as simple as Oh, see, I just died and... There we go. That was actually better than the last time I played, so <laughs> it was an improvement. Yeah. But uh, at least you get one nice little saying when you die. True, true. To celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is coming out uh, probably a few weeks to a month. We're, we've submitted it to the App Store, but we have to transfer it to my other account. Mm -hmm. And there's a little approval process stuff going on, so mm -hmm. we're trying to work through that right now. But it should be out in a few weeks. Uh, and we got a price point set? I think it's going to be $1.99. Okay. Well, it looks uh, deceptively simple and absolutely unforgiving. Yeah, that's for sure. And it's, and it's just one of those games you'd be able to just... No commitments. You just can play it sure. whenever you want. It's right. not like you have to dive deep into it. Awesome. So that's Mike Rogue, guys, from GDC 2015. we got lots more coming. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.